Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory explicit content. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love your green eyes. And I love your green effects. Oh, my gosh, you're so beautiful. Thanks. I, uh, I like your green skin. And your green hair. And your green boobies. What's going on, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and welcome back to the show! We are going to do a She-Hulk review. Not only a She-Hulk review, but a She-Hulk... Did I say She-Hulk? <laughs> a She-Hulk comparison. That's right. We're going to do a She-Hulk comparison. All right, guys. So I kind of picked this figure up by accident. As you guys know, you guys probably have already seen reviews of this She-Hulk. Of course, we're not going to spend too much time reviewing her because I've already reviewed the previous She-Hulk that came out. Uh, what wave was she a part of? She was was she a part of a wave? I can't remember. But we're going to we're going to do some comparisons of her and that She-Hulk, and then break out some other figs. We're going to do some comparisons. And this is going to be kind of like a a comparison video, size comparison video, blah blah blah, all this. But anyways, I just wanted to show you. This. Oh yeah, let me get back to my story of why I picked this figure up. It's a hard figure to find. She's becoming really, really hard to find. She's becoming a sold after sold sold after figure. Sold after figure. Um, I think one of the main reasons why is I think there's a show that's coming out where it's featuring She-Hulk, or there's a movie coming out with She-Hulk. There's a beautiful artwork right there. There's a side artwork. We're not going to spend too much time on this figure, but yeah, she is getting pretty pricey, man. So if I were you, I would go pick her up. There's, I got her at GameStop. I didn't pay $22.99. I actually had a $5 coupon. If you guys saw my last toy hunt, I actually went to GameStop at the end of the month. I had a $5 coupon, and then I had another $5 coupon, and I bought this Iron Man right here, and they had the She-Hulk, and then two days later, I think it was like October 1st, I went back and got this She-Hulk. Uh, it was still there. It was right there. I tried to hide it behind some figures because they wouldn't hold on, they wouldn't hold on the figure for me. They couldn't do it and then when i came back she was at the front of the line i'm like damn it but she was still there and so i picked her up used my five dollar coupon for the month of october so that's one of the main reasons why i picked her up because i saved five bucks on this figure so right now i think in the aftermarket i think she's going for around 40 to 60 bucks in the aftermarket it's still in package so let's take her out the package speaking of package There is She-Hulk, there is her hair, and then there is her interchangeable hands. Now, one, one thing I thought about doing is I thought about just customizing my other She-Hulk figure, but I was at, I, I'm, I'm kind of at a point in my life or <laughs> in reviewing action figures where if it's, if it's not worth it, then why am I going to do it? You know, why do it if I if I don't really care too much about the figure? Why am I going to do a custom? You know what I mean? I only want to do customs of figures that I actually want to that I actually care about and actually I think can make a difference. So speaking of, there is She-Hulk, and yeah, she looks great. <laughs> she looks really great, bro. I was always satisfied with the other version, but yeah, she looks fucking great, man. Listen, I think if you're a Hulk fan, I definitely do like. How she looks and man her face looks so much like a woman i used to know bro wow the resemblance is uncanny yeah i yeah i knew your friendly neighborhood youtuber knew a woman that looked like this not so much the body but uh yeah she had a pretty nice body not as athletic though but anyways that's neither here or there <laughs> but yeah great 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 figure speaking of body here's one question I have for all the Hulk fans. 
Hulk, when he grows, he grows out of his clothes. And he only has his pants, right? <laughs> Wait, how how did she end up with the shirt? A shirt on. Isn't she supposed to have a shirt off? <laughs> I guess for like superhero purposes, I guess you would have to have the shirt on, right? And it makes me wonder, especially with the Hulk, when he grows and turns into the Hulk, he still has his pants on. He's still able to fit into his pants. I guess maybe it's the elastic pants or the jogging pants, whatever kind of pants he wears. But uh, I think it's hilarious when they did She-Hulk. She not only managed to keep her pants on, <laughs> but she managed to keep her shirt on uh, so she doesn't expose her breast. Coincidence? I think not. But yeah, overall, great, great figure, great abs, great butt. Yeah, I think she works out. Um, as far as articulation, do you guys even care? I mean, this is kind of jammed. I'm not... Okay, there we go. So double-jointed um, double jointed arms. Might have to warm them up. Look at that, bro. Put up your dukes. Put them up! You want some of this bad boy? Huh, huh, huh. Sorry, I'm having too much fun. And then she comes with this uh, head sculpt right here, which we saw on the previous She-Hulk. Everything about her is great, man. Great coloring. Marvel Legends did an amazing job with this She-Hulk. Just really overall dope figure. Let me bring in my skull over here to stand her up. Um, okay, before we break out and do some more figs. Or actually, I got some figs right here. We can do some comparisons. But before we break out the other She-Hulk, we're going to... Do some comparisons. So here is the last Marvel Legend I reviewed of Mark III Iron Man. Right there. Right, right, right there. Right there. Focus camera. So that's how she measures up. Let's do a measurement real quick. So I'm sure you guys are curious to know how big she is. She-Hulk stands at 7 and 1 eighth tall. That's just a little over 7 inches tall. Uh, with some other figs I just recently reviewed, we have the Bat-Bot right here with She-Hulk. Obviously, the Bat-Bot Bat features in Batman it is fucking huge compared to She-Hulk. One of the last figs that I reviewed of Spawn, um, Melfic, 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 Spawn, right there. That's how she measures. Oh, look at that. They make a great couple, right? Oh, the green eyes. I love your green eyes. I love your green skin. <laughs> I love I love your green effects. Yeah, I love your I bet you have a nice green. Never mind. Um <laughs> sorry. That's the creep in me. I apologize. Um Bat Woman. One of the last figs I reviewed. Bat woman, bat woman. Dun -dun 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 bat woman. Um how about Oh, let's break out a DC fig. So here is Harley Quinn with a DC fig. This is Mattel right there. That's how she measures up. Okay, let's break out. Oh, you know what? And then she comes with the, the two uh, interchangeable hands right here as well. So I forgot to mention that. Two interchangeable hands and my two non-interchangeable hands. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's break out some more figs, do some more comparisons. Okay, so here's the other She-Hulk right there. And uh, I forget what wave this is from. If you guys know, let me know. I completely forgot what wave she is from. She's actually a good figure. She kind of reminds me of Grey Hulk. She's a Grey She-Hulk, right? Essentially, same damn figure, but obviously the green pops. This is the She-Hulk that we all know. This one, not so much, but it's a great figure. The head sculpt, same thing. Except they painted the eyes. Or, hold on. She, they painted the eyes. It's the same same tone. Actually, I like this face a little bit better. I mean, so they are different figures, but it's the same sculpt. It's just different paint apps applied. You can see the green in her hair. I don't know. I don't know the story of this She-Hulk. Why did they make her gray with green throughout her body? If you guys know, let me know. So. But yeah, I definitely do like the green one a little bit better. But the green one is actually not that bad. Not that bad. Let's see, just for the hell of it. Ugh, pop out her head and we'll do like a comparison. 
yeah, this looks good too. I like how that looks as well. Yeah, both very, very nice. I actually like this this one better. This one, not so much. She just looks kind of angry, and the eyes just look hideous, bro. She doesn't have the yellow eyes there. This is when she's pissed. This is the time of the month, and then this is the cool, calm, relaxed one right here. So she has the green eyes with this head sculpt, as you guys can see. Focus, camera, focus. And then she has the yellow eyes with this head sculpt right here, which makes her look more monstrous. And then, of course, with this one, she has the green eyes. And no, I'm not going to do the head swappage because there's no point because the skin tones don't match up. But let me switch over back to uh, this head right here because I actually prefer this one a little bit better. I like the docile look. Women with an attitude. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't last. Women with an attitude. I'm, I'm such a laid back person, man. I can't handle bitches with their attitudes. That's another story, but anyways. Great figure, man. Great figure. Let me go ahead and give you my rating. She is a... I'm going to give her an 8 out of 10. I really like this figure. Listen, uh, this one is actually just as good, you know, um, because they're essentially the same damn thing. But, you know, this is kind of an alternate version. And the head sculpt for this one is a little bit better than this head sculpt right here. But, I mean, you can have them side by side and you wouldn't know, you know, that they are the same person. I know that sounds kind of stupid. Okay, guys, 8 out of 10 for She-Hulk. I definitely recommend picking this figure up while you still can. Great, great figure, man. I'm glad I picked her up. Listen, if you found... Oh, you know what? Let's do... Uh, before we end this review... Um, hold on one minute. I got my Hulk right here. Oh. Here's my here's my Marvel Select Hulk. So I wanted to break her out. I know you guys wanted to see some reviews of this right here. So here's my Marvel Select Hulk with She-Hulk right there and then i'll get my marvel legends hulk to do a comparison as well okay so here is she with the 80th anniversary i think it is of the hulk right here so that's how she measures up different kind of green but it works it works man great figure great figure eight out of ten guys uh let me know your thoughts in the comment section um about this figure what do you make of her let me know your thoughts all right guys i just want to thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next review peace out Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Gangsters and Demons on YouTube. Check it out.